Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, Linda's 144 hobbies, which should be called 144 whips. This is my half year whip parade and I will just try to keep it as short and sweet as possible. Uh, I have a lot of whips, so I'm not in the 90s, but I do have a few. So uh, <clears throat> I just want to say um, I won't be able to tell when I started stuff. Most of it I can't tell because some of the some of them was uh, such a long time ago. So I, I have no idea. So and, and I will put up pictures here up in the corner of the um, designs how they will look when they're finished. So first off, um, I have two whips at work which I forgot to bring home. It is um, the Ann Morrison Sal, which started, I think it was December last year. Um, and um, I'm down to where the eyelet letters start. So I think I'm about halfway. Uh, so I don't have a picture of the whip, but uh, you will see here a picture of how it will, will look like. And I think most of you guys no, uh, the Ann Morrison cell. The other whip I have is of a bookmark, um, is inspired by the Outlander uh, series. It was like the only uh, cross stitch pattern I could find that was uh, out, uh, Outlander themed. So if you have any other suggestions of Outlander, please reach out. <laughs> So I don't have that whip either, um, but I think I'm all, also like halfway done. So, but here is a picture on how it will look when it is finished. Now, I don't know in which end I should start because I have whips in my project bags down here on the floor. I have whips on my scroll frames here and I have whips in the pile over here. <laughs> So I think I will start with the frames because they're kind of big and I'm not sure how they will fit in because I'm kind of close to the, to the um, phone. But let's look at the Chatelaine. It is the Poison Garden Mandala and I started it this year uh, after waiting. I think I ordered the kit. Yeah, I ordered the kit in October last year and they sent it just before Christmas. It took a little while, but then it came in January, I think. And then I started. So it's big. So bear with me. Here it is. I took it off the, the, the bars, the side stretcher, so I could, <laughs> it's not gonna fit all of it. So this is the center. And then I've started on top on the arches or arcs like so. So, and it's stitched on 28 count, even weave. And I bought the complete kit. Um, I need this in between. Very important. If you want to beat as you go on your Mirabilias or Bella Fina Pinas or Bella Filipina, whatever, the Chatelaine is whatever use some batting or fleece. I have wool. It makes a huge difference. I'm sorry if I hit the microphone when I'm doing this. So I just roll in the, the batting like so uh, to protect not only the beads, but you know, just the texture in the weave and the stitches. I noticed I don't have any batting on my Mirabilia, which I'm stitching. And I can see bead marks in the weave. I, I guess it will even out when, um, you know, when it's done and all, but I don't know, so. We'll, we'll do the Mirabilia now. So this is my 
uh, which way is it this? This is my Lady of Mystery. This is how far I got on her. I think I started this this year as well. And yeah. She's also stitched on 28 count. Hand dyed, hand dyed even weave. Should I say anything else? I don't know. But um, if you have any questions about the whips, just, you know, send me a message or leave a comment below. So those, that's what, that's, that, that was, that, that was, that was the two. And then we can grab my focus piece of 2021. Uh, this is my softest steel. So she's a bit, um, yeah, kind of bare skinned. So if you have a problem with that, just uh, skip ahead. Let's see. I think I've passed. So this is the top and this is not gonna fit in the camera, of course. I don't have any room behind me, so I cannot, you know, back up. I think I made like 30, around 30, 33%. And if you follow me at my floss tube, you know that I'm working on the top page. Oh, I just remembered. I, I need to stitch 50 stitches on this today. Ah, good thing. So that was soft as steel. She stitched on 27 Linda even weave. And I started her a long time ago. Yeah. It's been a while. It has. Uh, seven years ago, maybe, or something. So that's that. And I had another one here. It's also a new start for this year, I think. Maybe. I know I worked on it in April. A lot in April. <clears throat> Which is the mini Dragon in the Morning by Randall Spangler. Oh, Softest Steel, by the way, is uh, Julie Bell Vallejo. So, but this is uh, Soft... Uh, no. Jesus, Linda. Mini Dragon in the Morning by Randall Spangler. And I made about a third of this as well. And it's stitched on 25 count. I'm 10 stitching this one um, using 2 over 1. And I think it's quite hard to see that it's half stitches. I'm very pleased it went very fast. But as I said, I was at least three weeks straight with this little guy. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that. So that was the scroll frames. Let's see. I have a nice project bag here, which cost me a fortune, but I needed one of them. So I have a couple of projects here. I need some coffee. Whoops. So I don't think, I don't think I've been working on this piece. This is the ink circle, squirrels squirrels of Sumatra. I think I worked on it last year, but it's still a whip, which is the front and back. Oh, I have a neat back, I see. Yeah, this is like, no, I think it's upside down. This is the way. It's stitched on 28 count, a hand dyed fabric. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I just bear with me. Like so. I'm sorry about the creases. But oh my god. The detail in Oh, I almost need to go back to this. This is on 28 count and I'm using Gloriana. And this was the first pattern I started after stitching years of um, Heaven and Earth. So stitching with two threads over two never, you know, came to me. I don't know about the instructions. I, I guess I didn't read it properly. I just bought the thread and started stitching and I thought it was very tiny. <laughs> yeah, because I stitched with one thread, one over one and you weren't supposed to do that, but the result is amazing. So, but then I realized I was running out of thread, so I needed to order more and then I know the dye lot is different, so I haven't, you know, picked it up again. Uh, I think I have a picture of it here. This is how the finished piece will look. So I've done quite a bit, I guess. I don't know. I think I'm over here. Never mind. I've done quite a bit. And I, well, I stitched it um when my daughter was having dance classes and it was perfect to sit an hour sometimes she had two classes in a row so it was like two hours so that was perfect i'm sorry about the crinkling but that's just the life of a stitcher you know yes and then we have another sampler um, hands across the sea samplers. I hope I have a picture of it here. This is the Jane Hearth. Please. Oh, I don't know where I have put that. I think I just need to, to add a, a picture here. Yeah. But I know I have my my whip over here. Oh, now you're gonna see my fat ass. Oh. <laughs> I might just cut that out, I don't know. Yeah. Jane Hearth. Jane Hearth. 1868 uh, by Nicola Parkman from Hands Across the Sea. And let's see, I have one of these. I finished the frame and I started the flower and I made a mistake somewhere around birds. That's a miscount of one. So I can't use the birds to count out new stitches, but this is pretty nice. And I'm stitching it with the silk threads, uh, soy doll share or something like that, I guess. Very nice. Very enthusiastic in the beginning. I started it last year. Uh, but I don't think samplers are just, you know, beautiful. And I love the history in it. Don't get me wrong, but I, I don't think samplers is my, my thing really. It's not that I, <sighs> I have a lot of patterns because they're so beautiful. Um, and I love hands across the sea samplers, but, uh, I think maybe if I would just not stitch it on the small count, just a little bit bigger, I think I will enjoy it more. So that was that. I have one more. Whip in this bag. I have my pandemic, of course, which I guess about almost everyone else started. 
and when I realized that somehow Pattern Keeper removed all the back stitching in the long dog sampler patterns, I don't know why, because I knew they were there from the beginning, but later I, I didn't see it and I missed out on some. And then I was like, oh, do I have to jump back and forth? I didn't feel like that. And I also was stitching this when my daughter was dancing you know having dance classes and then COVID came and there were no dance classes and yeah so it's been on hold this is my progress on pandemic I love it I'm stitching it on um, let's see I think it is 32 count. I'm, I'm a bit uncertain, 32 or 36, but I think it's 32 count. And I'm using the sulky thread, uh, which is a variegated thread. And you just use one strand. Um, so the effect is just so freaking cool. And then for the people and the animals, I'm using DMC threads. Um, no, I'm lying. I'm using also sulky thread, but a, um, a solid, solid color. And then I, for the back stitching, I have DMC threads. So all the birds are going to be uh, darker sulky threads, and the rest is going to be a little bit lighter. I, th I think that will be awesome. Uh, what I found a little bit difficult with this kind of pattern because I started in the middle was, you know, which way should I go? You know, then my mind starts to wondering if I stitch that way up and I stitch that way down, where will I end up? So even if it's mindless stitching that you just use one color, um, I use a lot of, you know, time, <laughs> precious time to think of which way should I stitch. I don't like that. But that's a whole different story. And Pandemic, I started last year. It was a free chart in June. So I got it for free when a lot of other people got it for free as well. Let's just shove it in there. Now, that bag was finished. Oh, I've been sitting, stitching too much, so my back is hurting. And I'm not sitting in my in the living room because I have all the lighting and filming set up because I'm going to film a lot. So my back is not happy. Okay, let's stop talking. Let's go to the pile. Yeah. I own one... Uh, for Owl Forest Embroidery Kit. And this is the one. And it is called Enchanted Forest. Enchanted Forest. Because when I saw it the first time, I was like, oh, this is, this is home. This is Sweden. Um, so I had to have that. There are two more Owl Forest kits, uh, kits which, uh, which is really nice. But... Now, I love their kits. I love, I'm not going to show it all, but you know, you get a big piece of pattern and then you get another piece of paper where you can cut out the different things in the pattern. So you don't have to have this big pattern with you. And I love that. Love it. And I also started this last year. This is how far I got. Uh, oh, there's gaps between there. How, how do I do this to show you? Um, I met with my mom last vacation. It was when I had vacation every Monday and we were stitching like for hours. I'm saying that, well, for me, this took uh, quite a while to stitch. 
So I'm like, I need to finish <laughs> the leaves in the tree here. Very nice kit. Fabulous fabric and everything is so nice. You get everything in this little box. I think you have seen, most of you guys have seen how you get the, the threads in these cute little yeah, skeins. And then there's the colors I've used, which I bobbinated. You get the bobbins with the symbols on. And uh, here there's some other, I haven't used the yellow colors. Look at these, they're just so gorgeous. And you get, I wasn't supposed to show you what's in, I was just going to show you the, <laughs> the whip, but you get a, a sweet little neater minder as well. we have here mm. yeah I like this oh I love this um, it is from heartstring samplers and it is a dog's last will and testimony and each time I start to read what the dog says in his will, I, I cry, but it's so sweet and I need to work a lot more on this because that's a fast stitch. And where is my progress? Uh, now I'm just going way too fast. I'm sorry, but the Enchanted Forest is stitched on 32 count linen over two threads. I'm sorry if I'm, I just see that the, the time is running here. So this is stitched on. What's it stitched on? I always make working copies for me so I can highlight what I stitch. So it can look like a little bit like this. Um, 40 count. It's stitched on 40 count. Okay. I guess so. Oh! False way bags. What do you know? And... I haven't showed you anything yet. I'm using um, the Gentle Art, Gentle Art threads for this. And I think, so this is linen, uh, so it's a bit wrinkly, um, but I, I've, I think I've gotten quite a bit in it. So I started in the middle, I started this I think it, this year, I started this year. So I started like in the middle and then I worked myself out to the left side. I just wanted to get to the top and then I just worked the different colors all the way until I got to the top and then I started stitching the words as it comes, you know, as you read them. It's very nice. So I will just read the first words and try not to to cry. So before humans die, they write their last will and testament. Um, give their home and all they have to those to those they leave behind. So that's how it starts. And then the dog starts to tell what he or she 
likes to leave behind. But uh, it was supposed to be stitched on Coco something, Coco. Um, but it was since, you know, COVID happened, um, a lot of stuff just went on hold. So I ordered uh, the linen from XU Designs and it's like a grayish um, linen with some brown, brown molder, some, some brown in it. So, and I'm glad I went with the gray color because the threads are very brown and I think they will disappear in the fabric I got from it. So I think I made a good choice. Do I have anything else in here? No. Maybe I can't throw this in. For now. Okay. So, what's next? Ah. Oh, yes. Also, I love this. I have all the threads, DMC threads. Yeah, this DMC threads. And this is a Rose Manor, Rosewood Manor, 101 alphabets. Oh, this is so cool. And I love stitching this. You won't notice that because I don't have a lot of progress, but this is stitched on 36 count 36 count it's a big piece um ivory linen and it's perfect stitching with two threads over two mm. yes i love it love 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 and there's a facebook facebook group for this stitch it's not very active, but if you want to have some eye candy, you know, go over there. Let's see. And for me, it's so important, you know, to have a nice back on, on this stitch. So it's a, for me, I find it a bit tricksy to start and end the alphabets with when, which is only with one strand and back stitching or long stitching. I find it very, very difficult to start and end. So this is my progress. And I started it this year, I think. At the beginning of the year, I think, or so. Yeah, not too long ago. And it was on my whip board, so I did get a little bit of progress on it. I was like almost stitching like an alphabet a day. No, <laughs> that cannot be possible because there is not a lot of alphabets. But isn't it cool? Yeah, I love it. Also, I need to add this, my other, uh, not my full coverage pieces, I need to add them to my wheel. So all, they also get chosen sometime, you know, or else I might not stitch on them, you know, because I'm just too busy with my big, my baps. And I just keep it in a pillowcase, it, keep it in a pillowcase for protection. And, you know, the pattern is like a whole booklet. The bigger, the better. <laughs> I just need to check my sound so the battery isn't dying. Yeah, I'm 
good. I'm good. Okay, so we have one of these cool floss bodies, floss bodies made in the UK for 90 colors. I love them. I do. I wish you made them for 240 colors. I haven't asked. This is my full coverage Deliciosa by Helen Beeland or Be Beeland? Beeland. And it's top left corner. I started it last year in September on my stitching retreat in Sweden. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design. And um, it's stitched on 25 count, so it's a bit of a darker fabric because there is a lot of white in our dress. So I was thinking maybe I can see the white a bit better on this fabric. And the fabric is softer than the Easy Grid, which I like. And the floss buddies are made by uh, a lady on Etsy. Her store is called Bags Plus. And I asked if she could make this one for me and just choose a Halloween uh, fabric, which she did. So if she doesn't have for the 90s, you can always ask. like so and then we have the last one in the pile and this is one of my bookshelves it's also full coverage uh, it is the super size oh yeah Didli the deliciosa is the regular this is a super sized and it is the fantastic voyage bookshelf and i'm stitching it on 25 count one over one full cross um, started it last year um, and it's the regular colors so I just did the top left corner and I was like diagonal block stitching it but I don't know I don't like all this so I think I will, once I get back to it, uh, I will change how I stitch. So the Fantastic Voyage. And that is artwork by Amy Stewart. And it's charted by Heaven and Earth. And here's also, you know, a 90 color floss buddy. I wish I could sew them myself. I think I would make one for each project. Like so. Now we're done with that. Now we only have what's on the floor. <laughs> so. Let's start with... Um, Can you come here? My new start for the for the day, the first of August, is <laughs> it's all white. Yes, thank you. It is the Amazing Kingdom by Amy Stewart. This is the bottom right co corner, so this is the winter scene. That was a bit rough starting with all the light colors. Um, it's stitched on 25 count, full cross, one over one. Uh, so it's mine and 
Cat Talks Sal. Hi, cat. So, I will try to... I don't know what I'm going to try. Will it... Sorry. I'm so sorry. Will it stay there? Please stay there. So, a picture here on my amazing animal kingdom. Started today, 1st of August in 2021. Yes. Um, I will just, you know, continue not going in any order. I will just grab a project bag and let's see what's inside. This is Midnight Watcher, also by Julie Bell Vallejo. It's in Heaven and Earth. It's a regular size, 25 count, stitched, one over one, full cross. And it's also started years ago. wonderful stitch and me and Kat talked yesterday about some colors look blocked in the backgrounds of some pieces and I'm uh, curious of how this one will look once I get to all the background stitching we have on her so yes very pretty very nice very fun starting in the center Here, oh, this is my eternal promise. Heaven and Earth designs. This is the Matt Stewart design of Aragon and Arwen. I started it this year in Stitch Mania, and I made quite a good progress here in a week of stitching, and I enjoy enjoyed this very very much. It's very light. I don't know why. My lighting sucks today. But on 28 count, I was very scared because I remember some years ago when I was trying, you know, to get the best coverage and I went down or up in count size. And uh, yeah, so I was very scared. But for now, uh, this was uh, very comfortable stitching. I can't wait to get back to that. I, I need another Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah. So that's that. Just throw them under my table. What's in this big thing? There's a lot of stuff in here. It has to be a max, max, no, a super size. We have some easy grid. Ooh, oh, I missed this one. I missed this baby. Oh, I just have to get back to this. Is my Grandmaster by Gordon Fitchett? Pritchett? Gordon Fitchett Pritchett, yeah. Heaven and Earth Designs. And th I've stitched, I'm stitching this extreme cross country. And so I finished all the white and the next color, which is a light blue. And you might not see just anything. Maybe a little bit. You see the three birds on top of his head and then you have his head and his neck. And then we get to his arms and the, you know, the birds he's holding in his hands. It's very difficult to see. Uh, Jesus. Maybe this is better. No, 
not at all. Oh, screw it. Um, I will just have the lights. Um, picture. I love these dogs, ducks, and I just love all the detail in the clothes, you know, and oh, I just love them. It's not a full coverage since you don't have to stitch in the background, uh, but I love them. Love, love, love them. So I want to get back to this. Every time I spin the wheel, I'm like, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. And it never hits the Grandmaster. Nope. And yeah, I have one of those nice kits, material kits from Heaven and Earth. When did I start the Grandmaster? Was it yes? Yesterday. Duh. Last year or in 2019 maybe. Could be. I don't remember. Just need to check the sound again. Still on. This has to be dragon in the morning and you have already seen that. Yep. You just saw that in the beginning. And we have a heavy, heavy bag. And this, this is my, today, my oldest whip. And I worked on it some in June when we had the ancient stitching and it's paper pattern and everything. So it's a bit slow, but oh boy, she is beautiful. This is, the artwork is Nene Thomas and her uh, artwork is retired on Heaven and Earth, but she has her own patterns. On her website, you can go and buy. 25 count, one over one, full cross. And this is the second, this is the second um, kit I bought. It was from a company in England many years ago. They don't exist anymore. So, and then, you know, I got the paper pattern with the kit. So I cannot contact heaven and earth and ask for a digital one unfortunately because if i had her in pattern keeper it would be so much faster and much more enjoyable okay so remember if you have any questions about any of the whips i'm showing you know if i was too fast or if i left out any information just leave a comment below or, you know, send me a message on Instagram or send me an email. You can find all the information in the description box. But let's continue. We're almost done, I think. Oh, I started this this year in June. I love it. It's so huge. It's my humongous piece. It's my super duper piece from Gecko Rouge. It's stitched on 25 count. Easy grid and it's one over one and it's the shelf life. I well, I I think I stitched like four days on it. So I didn't complete the first room, but uh, so cool. His art uh colin thompson his art is so cool and you have a nice needle minder yeah so i know it's very light but that felt like a needle <laughs> so i mean the fabric goes on and on 
at first I wanted to buy it in 18 count just because it was so huge I mean humongous but uh, then I it will come here as soon I would I started I tried to stitch on 20 on 18 count Ada it wasn't really my thing so I have to you know talk me out of getting 18 count because I'm like the bigger the better yeah <laughs> um, but it's not always the best thing so and stitching with one thread is so much more enjoyable than with two And I have an, un an unboxing of this kit as well. So if you're curious of the Gecko Rouge, go check it out. Couch Dragon. Love, 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 love started it this stitch mania this year um, and I loved this piece since it got out Nikki Croft finished this like in a wham <laughs> and it's so nice I love this piece and it's the top left corner it's stitched on 25 count it's the magic guide uh, full cross, one over one. I think it's very, um, huh. so there's a lot of chronic in here, I say, and then I can't find it, but there's going to be really a lot of chronic. And I don't think that it's just too light, but there's a lot of chronic here. Trust me. <laughs> so that's that also going to be awesome to get back to and it's just you know a regular piece imagine imagine this in a super size no no don't even go there <laughs> don't even go there yeah mm -mm. oh yep yeah. I have so many other projects I want to stitch on as well. Um, so yeah, this was an easy kit up. You know, the small regular ones wasn't so, so bad. Another big one. Oh, this is, this is the one. This is my Game of Thrones. It's also full coverage. Uh, it's not in Heaven and Earth. I bought the pattern on Etsy. And uh, the designer or the charter was uh, called Nat Natalie. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? And I just started it on like a few weeks ago in July in 2021. And I finished Ned Stark's face. So here on a, in a, on a distant, in a distance, I can see that now there's, there's a hand here and it looks pretty cool. Now when I have, you know, can look at it from a distance. Um, so I'm using CXC threads for this. So I'm a little bit mixed. I need to stitch more before I can, you know, get a real uh, point of view of what I think about it. And because there's a lot of black, no, a lot of dark colors in this project, I chose to go with a darker uh, even weave. my my table
table. I had it in a, I had all my whips in um, some lockers in the living room before, but I outgrew them. So now I just throw it in boxes and stuff. Now, what it's, is this little thing? This felt strange. This is all, all I had in the... Oh, it's the treasure quest. Yes, I only have the threads which are more than one skein. So I wanted to stitch those colors first. And this is started also this year uh, in May. And this is the top left corner. And I'm 10 stitching this. So that's why I got that much progress on it. And yeah, I can't wait to get down to the dragons and stuff to get a little bit more detail because the background wasn't a lot of detail at all. So I was like, hmm, I need, I need more. But it looks cool, doesn't it? It looks pretty cool. It looks cool. It looks nice. Randall Spangler's dragons are just amazing. You can never go wrong with a Randall Spangler. Never. The colors are amazing. There's always an adventure. Always. You can make your own story with Randall Spangler's art. If you don't know what to buy or start, go with that. I promise. Yes. Why do I have a plastic, empty plastic bag there? Oh, we are getting close to the end. Thank goodness. What is, what is this? It's all hidden in here. There's no threads. Is this maybe the secret garden? It's a super sized with all that fabric. Yeah. It is my secret garden bookshelf. Oh. oh. I need to stop parking, but I like to park this one. It's so confetti heavy. At least here it's the top left corner. It's on 25 count. It's Amy Stewart's art. It's charted by Heaven and Earth. I'm stitching one over one full cross. And the colors. And you take a step back and you see all these flowers and books and oh and i'm following one i don't know if she's japanese or chinese on instagram and she's like doing a daily picture it's so beautiful so beautiful so but i'm using uh threads from the stash so that is why i don't have a kit or anything which i don't like but Hey, sometimes we need to get out of that comfort zone. <clears throat> Secret Garden. I think I started it last year in, in springtime. I was like, oh, I need to start to, I need to stitch some flowers. And uh, yeah, then I stitched like the first row. I was like, oh my God, no, thank you. And then... Some time went. I'm sorry about the lighting. It just, it just sucks. Um, I think even if it was, if it was my wheel that you know, I didn't want to retire it because Amy's art is amazing, and she interacts with her fans. And I tried it again, and I loved it. Simply loved it. What I don't like is that I don't have a thread kit for it, so I don't like that. need to get some lighting.
might have seven left. Oh my god. Did someone count? <laughs> I didn't count. Oh my goodness. So there's just threads in here and these are the um, the extra threads for soft steel and you have already seen that so I don't have to talk about that again. Let me watch. Look at the It's still okay. Well, I know it has to be close to 30. I think it's around 30. So it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I still have a long way to 50. <laughs> oh, I have another pillowcase with something hiding in it. What's this? What's this? Oh my God. Oh. oh. Oh, look at this. Eight pages. Eight. Eight pages of a traveler's book bookshelf. It's my, it was my first material kit from Heaven and Earth. Then you got it in a display box and everything. It was so nice. Oh, God. It's the, it's, this is the super size. I'm sorry, the secret garden, you know, the one I was showing before. Uh, I said it was 25th count. I don't think I mentioned that it was a super size with max colors. Anyway, not important. This is a super sized with regular colors. I do regret it because I've seen pictures on this, which is the super size with max colors. And, um, there's a bit more depth in it. I think the detail is the same, but you know, for example, like uh, the Taj Mahal, um, it's it's a bit more crisp, but I mean, mm. I need to get back. I should dedicate a week, a month for my bookshelves and just rotate through them. This is sad to not to stitch on. Oh, it was nice to see that again. Love it. It was my first bookshelf because it was like the places all over the world. It was so nice. There's a llama. There's a llama or alpaca. No, that's a llama in the left corner. And I need to get to the llama. I mean, it's just the, you know, all the places in the world and who, <sighs> yeah, I'm not a traveler, but I would love to go to all the places. Oh, I need to get back to this. And I have a kit for this somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in the building. <laughs> I will find it. I will find it. We only have three rooms. So, I mean, how hard can it be? Oh, I see a needle. I think it was a needle I, I felt earlier. At least I found my needle. Oh. Haha. -ha. Needle. Who's next? Get here. Ugh. I have, I see a black cone. So I know which one this is. I started it. By the way, book the traveler's bookshelf. That's a few years back I started that. I can't remember. This is my watchman, my black rose. Oh, this is so Game of Thrones. And you're not going to see any crows, just in the pictures. I started it this May and I'm extreme cross country stitching this. And I've started with the black because there's like 600,000 stitches of black. <laughs> so insane. And I started in the bottom left corner. 
And uh, this was mindful stitching. Mindfulness. Mindfulness stitching. This, uh, I could go back to this like right away. Yeah. Oh, loved it. Oh, and I'm stitching it on 28 count. Ooh, I'm brave. I'm brave. And you know, the coverage is just amazing. Yeah. I've started, you know, getting a little bit of anxiety when I start a new piece. Like, is it really at the right spot? I've counted and I counted. <sighs> what if, you know, I went too far in one side like here there is a lot of extra space well i'm like at the same time we'll never know because we'll never finish anything unless i just stitch that one what am i doing i'm just gonna fold it fold it how how hard can it be So, before, you know, the mind wanders off too much, uh, the artwork is uh, Lisa Parker. She has great art, uh, but I think she has the coolest black crows, the Watchmen. Yeah. And I'm looking for Blackbird's Designs Watchmen as well. It was out of, not out of print, but out of stock. I don't know if Casa Sanina is getting it back. Anywho, let's continue with the whips. Oh, I feel I'm not that young anymore. It's, I'm not young, young and, you know, lean. Why do I have a lot of threads? Oh. oh, it's in there. It's Passion for the Future by Yuli Bell Vallejo. <laughs> I love their art, if you didn't know. Uh, I was like, where, where's the, where's the fabric? But it's here. It's here. There was a time when you could order DMC threads from 123 Stitch. That is why I have a lot of kitted up stuff. And then they stopped giving us that opportunity. And this is also a piece of fabric. No, a, a whip. A piece of whip I need to get back to. Oh, my god. And I have done quite a bit on it. God, why, why am I stopping? I do have lots of projects where I've made more than just one page. It feels like I just do one page and jump to the next. That's not true. I love this piece. I would like to, you know, just restart and do this like super size max colors. <laughs> no, I shouldn't, but I, I really do want to. Um, this is on, uh, 25 count, one over one full cross and the colors are just so earthy and it's such a powerful piece of art. And I remember when they released these, um, shards, they, there was a few that came like trick or treat, the eternal promise, this one, and there were like over a hundred pages and we were like, wow, they're huge, you know? And then Super Sized came <laughs> and then Shelf Life came, <laughs> but yeah. Ah, I need to, I want to stitch on them all. Yeah, I think I could stitch like two weeks each for a whole year and I would go through all the the charts. Two weeks. That's not a lot. Uh, 
but maybe it would be fun. Maybe I should try that one year. I only have myself to blame, you know? Yeah, Linda, why do you start all the stuff when you don't have time or years to live to stitch all the stuff? Let's use my feet. <laughs> Come here. I'm sorry. What do we have here? Lots of threads. Beautiful colors in a lot of rings. So this is Midnight Munchies because it's on 18 count Ada and it feels like paper. I hope it softens up. I want, you know, I want it to be soft. And I, I spilled coffee on it. It's okay. It's a full coverage. Look at that. It's the top left corner. I started it in May this year during Stitch Mania. It looks pretty nice, huh? 18 count. Yeah. And it's uh, expanded colors. So I think there's like one skein of each color. So it's perfect. The artwork is uh, by Randall Spangler. Mm, yeah, Heaven and Earth designs, if you didn't know. And yeah, I'm using two threads over one, two, on 18, you know, whatever you stitch on Ada. The good thing with stitching with two threads is the loop start method. That's very nice. And on Ada, you can do the pin stitching, starting and ending, and you can hide it pretty well. I like that too. We're almost there, people. We're almost there, I promise. So this must be, you know, the one the one and only. Oh, the one and only. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the Once Upon a Fair Tale. It's the supersized max colors, and I cannot believe that I'm actually getting progress on this stuff. If you didn't know, I'm in love with this piece. And it's, this is the feeling I'm feeling for it. It's the feeling I have been waiting for. I knew there will come a piece where I feel this way. And I, I think I could stitch this only for quite a while before I get tired. But I want to stitch all the things. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Love it. All of it, even the confetti. I just love it. Love, love, love. Oh, so my goal for this year, no, we're, we take that in the floss tube. Just with rate. We talk about goals later. Supersized, max colors. Um, it's an Amy Stewart. A lot of people are stitching on it, stitching it. Uh, 25 count, one over one, full cross. Check. Um, again, if I'm rambling, you didn't get the info, I left something out, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below, send me a message on Instagram, send me an email, you can find all the information in the description box.
we have two more then we're done Oof. which should we go this is also a piece um extreme cross-country stitching I don't know which way is which um, maybe if I look in the okay so I've done all the black in this ah now I know this is the way <laughs> Yes, this is a quick stitch of the uh, Treasure Hunt bookshelf um, by Amy Stewart. So this is like a quick stitch, but in a regular size and with max colors, I think. Yeah, and this is um, Spooky House, Spooky House something. So where am I at? Here, that's like a door. And there's gonna sit a fox there and then I wish I had eight arms and then here there's gonna be the castle and the moonlight in the background and then you have you know the horse and I think you know the horse is the right you know the normal picture it's like this big I think maybe this big and here it's like huge so extreme cross-country stitching this all the black is done and I don't have a kit for it either I will just get you know the next color in in line which is 939 yay and when that is done I will get the threads for the next colors so that's how I'm doing it I started it I can't it it wasn't last year it was it must have been 2019 yeah 2019 when floss tube hit me you know Shit. they're all gonna fit there so we're down to the last Also, heaven and earth, this is my Ciro Manchetti, the Aqua City. It's the regular size, but it's max colors. And I'm also extreme cross country stitching this. All the black is done. And yeah, it's very difficult <laughs> to tell you where all the stuffs are, but. As long as you don't make a mistake, extreme cross-country stitching is pretty nice because you don't have to switch the colors. And I like that, you know, you just grab the strand, you stitch, grab, stitch. Oh, and I'm actually 10 stitching this. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah. So two threads over one, 10 stitching on 25 count. Um, um yeah but if i know it's on ten stitching you know miscounting for me is pretty easy <laughs> um but hopefully there's no no big mistakes otherwise they're they're retired so but zero manchetti very nice art it's the evening stroll i've been talking about yeah and then I see all the background stitching. Oh, but the turtle there is so cool. And uh, yeah, no, it has to be a uh, hmm, max color or something. Never mind. So all the black is done here, and the next color for this is this amazing nine nine six beautiful and I know I got all the new colors when they were released for some reason I guess I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get them I don't know why people folks 
my sweet floss tubers and viewers and followers and y'all it's done i finally did my whip parade now i need to edit it i need to get back to stitching my amazing animal adventure stitch along um so uh that's all my whips i love cross stitching cross uh but but i love stitching and i love heaven and earth but i love i especially love full coverage pieces so if there is art that you know fall into my taste i need to have it you know it's so precious to me um and even more you guys are so precious to me which makes all this so much more fun to do um so yeah let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching have a nice day bye